Hello everyone. This video is going to be very colorful, since I want to talk to you about the color codes of electrical cables. To avoid accidents when interpreting the function of the different cables that make up an electrical installation, they must be marked with certain colors, according to standards that establish color codes. In this video we are going to see different examples of standards and color codes used in various countries. My name is Robert and I hope this video is of interest to you, in which case don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. Due to globalization, more and more companies export machines and electrical panels or carry out projects abroad, and on other occasions maintenance technicians have to maintain facilities designed or manufactured in other countries. This situation implies that it is necessary to know the color codes, not only for your own country but also those used in other countries, in order to avoid mistakes that could lead to accidents with serious consequences, both for people and for the installation itself. Worldwide there is no single color coding of cables in electrical installations. These colors may vary depending on whether the installation uses AC or DC voltages, the nominal voltage of operation of the installation, but above all, the color codes may vary from one country to another. Many countries use international codes or regulations, others establish their own codes through local laws. With so many possible colors, an inexperienced electrician could be confused if he had to carry out an installation in another country or if he has to maintain an installation that comes from another country. As I have commented, many countries follow standards established by international organizations or of recognized international prestige. For example, we can mention the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, which initially, through the IEC 60446 standard and later through its merger with the IEC 60445 standard, establishes different colors for electrical cables. The equivalent standard, EN 60445, has been developed in Europe and is followed by a large majority of European countries. On the other hand, the National Electrical Code, NEC, of the United States, also establishes a series of guidelines regarding the color coding of cables. Countries such as Canada, through the Canadian Electrical Code, or Mexico, in its official Mexican Standard 001, CETA, use codes similar to the one proposed by the National Electrical Code of the United States. Finally, many other countries such as China, Japan, India, etc., have their own variants. Let's now look at these color codes. Let's start with the United States. In this case, as I have already anticipated, the National Electrical Code recommendations are followed, which establishes, for both AC and DC voltages, the color white or gray for the neutral grounded, and the colors green, green with yellow, or bare copper for the protection ground. Active cables can be of any other color except those already mentioned, although the most common is to use the colors that we are going to see below. We can make a first differentiation by voltages. For single phase alternating voltage installations, with nominal voltages of 120, 208 or 240 volts, typically used in residential and office installations, these colors are used. Black or red for the line cable, represented by the letter L. White or gray for the neutral wire, represented by the letter N. Green or green with yellow for the protection cable or ground wire, labeled PG. For three phase installations of 120, 208 or 240 volts, also used in the residential and office environment, the following colors are normally used. Black for line 1, or L1. Red for line 2, or L2. Blue for line 3, or L3. And white for the neutral, or N. For the protection cable or ground cable we have the color green, green with a yellow stripe or the bare wire. And for three-phase installations of 277 or 480 volts, used mainly in industry, we have Brown for line 1, or L1 Orange for line 2, or L2 Yellow for line 3, or L3 And gray for neutral, or N The protection or ground wire, PG, again uses the colors Green, green with a yellow stripe, or the bare copper wire this for AC systems. For systems that work with DC voltages, for example, in photovoltaic installations, battery systems, etc., we have red for the ungrounded positive, designated L+. 
black for ungrounded negative, designated L-, and white or gray for protective earth PG. In case the positive or negative is grounded, then the color white should be used instead of red or black, and it would be labeled as N. And if it is a system with an intermediate tap, the color white will be used for the tap, and it is labeled with the letter N. The National Electrical Code also has influence in other countries of the American continent. In Mexico, the official Mexican standard 001, SETA, establishes the color code of the equipment grounding conductors, as well as the grounded power cable, which is normally the neutral. Active cables must have different colors than those already indicated. In this way, the grounded neutral can have the colors, white, gray or a color other than green, but with three white stripes. The protection or ground wire is green, green and yellow, or bare copper wire. In a single phase installation, black is used for the active cable, and white for the neutral cable. For a three phase installation, the live wires must take colors that differ from the grounded neutral or ground wires. For example, the colors black, red and blue. In Colombia, the color code is established by the Technical Regulation of Electrical Installations, Reglamento Tecnico de Instalaciones Eléctricas, RITIE, which distinguishes the color of the phases of an installation based on their voltage, whether they are single phase or three phase and also depending on the type of installation, that is delta or triangle. For the protective earth the color green is used, or the bare cooper wire, and for isolated earths the color green yellow is used. The table below shows the different color combinations. In Canada, the Canadian Electrical Code uses as we see, a coating that is also very similar to that of the United States. In Brazil, the color code is regulated by the NBR 5410 standard, which defines the following colors. Blue for the neutral, and green or yellow-green for the earth wire, PE, and if the neutral is also distributed as a protection wire, calling it PEN, then it will be blue with green and yellow washers in visible points. Colors other than those already mentioned are allowed for active cables, for example brown, red, black or yellow. As we have commented at the beginning, the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, through the IEC 60446 and IEC 60445 standards, establishes its own color coding of the cables in electrical installations. This standard allows for active conductors, colors such as black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, white, pink or turquoise. Of which, green and yellow are reserved for the protective conductor. In Europe, a large majority of countries apply the N60445 standard, which provides the following guidelines. For single-phase AC voltage installations, for the phase conductor, called L, brown is normally used, and for the neutral, called N, light blue is used. For the earth or protective conductor, called PE, green with a yellow line is used. And for a three-phase installation we have the following colors. Brown for phase 1, marked L1. Black for phase 2, marked L2. Gray for phase 3, marked L3. Light blue for the neutral, marked with the letter N. And finally green with a yellow line for the ground or protective conductor, PE. For an installation with direct voltage with positive and negative not grounded we have. Positive, marked as L plus in brown color. Negative, marked as L minus in gray color. In case the positive or negative is grounded, the blue color should be used and it would be labeled with the letter M. And if it is a system with an intermediate tap, the blue color is used for the cable of this intermediate outlet, labeling it with the letter M. As in AC, the green color with a yellow line is used for the earth or protective conductor. Argentina has also adopted its color code using the IEC standard as a reference, although unlike Europe, it has chosen red for phase L3. Russia used the same color code as China for cable colors, but now its standard also takes the IEC standard as a reference. In this case, for phase L3, the use of gray or purple is recommended. China has its own color code. For single phase systems, the phase cable, marked L, uses the color yellow and for the neutral cable, marked N, the color light blue or black is used. The earth or protection wire, PE, will be green and yellow. 
For a three-phase AC system we will have, for phase 1, called L1, the color yellow, for phase 2, marked as L2, the color green and for phase 3, marked as L3, the color red. The neutral is marked as N, and it can be blue or black. And for the earth or protection wire, PE, again the green color with a yellow line is used. Countries like India and Pakistan use the colors red, blue and yellow for the phases, black for the neutral and green for the protection cable. This color code is in accordance with the BS 7671 standard, which was also used in the UK until 2004, when they changed to the IEC standard. In Japan, single-phase systems use black or red for the phase and white for the neutral. The protective earth wire is green. In a three-phase system for the phase cables, L1, L2 and L3 the colors, black, red and white are used respectively. White is also used for neutral in a more neutral two-phase system. Two color codes coexist in Australia. One for equipment cabling and one for facility cabling. The coding for the equipment wiring follows the international standard IEC, using brown and blue for single-phase equipment, for the phase and neutral wire respectively. In three-phase equipment the colors are used, brown, black and grey for the phases and blue for the neutral. The ground wire is green with a yellow stripe. On the other hand, for installations, for example in buildings, another coating is used. For a single-phase installation, red is used for the phase cable and black for the neutral cable. The protective earth wire is green with a yellow stripe. For a three-phase installation the following colors are used, red for phase 1, white for phase 2 and dark blue for phase 3. The neutral is black. The protective earth wire is again green with a yellow stripe. These are just some examples of color codes used in electrical systems. Including all the codes of all countries without help would be complicated, so I ask you if you see any errors or want to contribute with information about the regulation of your country and the colors that are used, do not hesitate to do so in the comments area of the video or by sending it to me by email, so that I can include it in future reviews of this video. And so we have reached the end of this presentation that I hope has been of interest to you. If so, don't forget to drop a like, so that I know that you liked it. In future videos I will discuss more issues related to electrical installations, therefore, if you don't want to miss them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. See you in a next video. Bye.